Hey guys, this is Comic Uno, and today I'm doing a review for Earth 2, issue 18. And before I start talking about this, just want to give you guys a little update. Of course, I have Comic Uno episode 25, and that is a show where I review all the comics I've read this week in one show. And this is a milestone uh, episode, so definitely go check it out. I actually have a voted issue that you guys voted for me to review, and that's Team NT, the micro series, the Shredder issue 8. So you can check that out there. And here are the other exclusive comics, which are. Green Arrow issue 26 and Marvel Knights X-Men issue 2. So definitely go check that out. Dark Men Drink, Comic Con episode 25. I'm excited. But let's talk about Earth 2 issue 18. Very cool cover. Um, you know, I've heard a lot of good things about Earth 2 this issue, particularly. I was hearing a lot of buzz about it. And uh, I was pretty excited for this. This is actually one of the issues that are on top of my pile. I think it was like the second issue that I read this week. Uh, so, really cool cover, Dark Sides on it, Superman, and uh, cool art. Let's see what's going on with the story, though. Uh, so, in this issue, we do have two different stories. Uh, we get to see Dark Side's story, he's just taking over the world. Uh, that's pretty much what he's been doing the whole time. And then we have the, the world, uh, the, the army, uh, the world army, they're called. Uh, and we're, we're seeing them survive, and S Captain uh, Slaw, he just wants to go run away. Sloan. Captain Sloan, he just wants to run away. And then Mr. Turpin is like, hey, we have to save the other people. So there's some people that just want to run away from the situation, some people that actually want to help the other, the, the citizens. So we have that story with uh, Darkseid just showing that things are escalating and gargoyles are actually popping out of the city too. Now, the real story, I think, was with Batman. Uh, I, we found out it was Thomas Wayne. I don't know if we found out in the series yet, but we have found out it was Thomas Wayne. And we get to see Lois Lane as Red Tornado, and uh, Lois Lane is trying to stop Batman because Batman wants to release all these villains. And we're like, why does Batman want to release them? He's like, well, I want to save the city. I want to redeem my son, and this is why I'm Batman. And Lois kind of understands that, So, but there's moments where she really wants to stop him. Uh, so we're going to see that a lot in this issue. So who are the villains that uh, he releases? We get to see, um, I want to say this is Aquawoman pretty much, or Majesty. Uh, so this is Aquamo uh, Aquawoman of the Earth 2 uh, universe. We get to see her, which, is she a villain? I don't know. I guess she is if she's being captured. And then we get to see another villain is uh, Jimmy Olsen. He's super smart. He's able to use computers. And he sees the actual the gargoyles come out uh with the whole Superman attack. So he's like, alright, Jimmy Olsen can help us also. So these are villains in the Earth 2 universe, actually. And then he, there's a third villain. And, uh, you know, Red Tornado's like, and Lois Lane's like, no, you, you really can't take the Joker out. This is the Joker. And he's like, I don't want to take the Joker out. And this had to be the best moment of this issue. He just wants to shoot the Joker. Bruce would never do that. I and mean, we all know that. You know, we don't even have to get into that. Bruce would never kill the Joker. And Thomas is just like... Yeah, let's go. <laughs> and he just, that's the last thing he wants to do is kill the Joker. And I thought that was really, really fun. And that's a great, that's what Tom Taylor is great at doing. It's just having those little moments. He is great at doing that with Injustice Gods Among Us. And you see that here also. There's just these uh, little moments that are so enjoyable. And I think uh, especially the Joker moment, I'm like, wow, I really like that ending. Uh, but this is a very solid issue. I read it and I'm like, Earth 2 is doing so much better. I think Tom Taylor is doing a great job with this series. And I've always enjoyed his writing, so I'm glad that he's on a pretty big title. At least he's going to be big um, because there's some events coming for Earth 2, um, I hear. So we're going to have to see that. But uh, I had a lot of fun with this one. You know, it was very solid. I uh, really like to see more of who Thomas is and then that weird combination of I think Flash is also there at that moment too. Um, no, not over there. He's actually trying to fight Darkseid. So those are kind of little details I left out. Uh, but yeah, so we get to see the combination of Red Tornado, Batman, you know, someone from the World Army, Jimmy Olsen, like these this weird combination, but uh, these characters being different of the Earth 2, but interesting. Like Lois being Red Tornado and Jimmy being this super genius. And it's really interesting how they change these characters again to become more interesting. Uh, so I enjoyed this, thought this was very solid. I'm looking forward to see what happens with this series and what happens with these team ups, what happens with Darkseid. Uh, and who really is Darkseid? Is he Superman? Is he another type of Superman? That's interesting also. Uh, so there's just a lot of small plots there, or a lot of small seeds that are planted in this uh, issue that I think are going to start to explode as the series goes on. Um, I don't know what the next issue is called. Let me see. Um, I hate that DC had this mad 
comics preview, it really eliminated a lot of pages. I was really disappointed with that this week because it made the comic uh, much smaller. Uh, is Invasion, so we're going to get more of the gargoyle, uh, Gargoyles in this uh, series. So pick up Earth 2 if you're not picking up. I think it's been a real surprise since Tom Taylor has gone on with the series. It's a $2.99 series, but I think it's worth be like a flagship series, honestly. Uh, solid grade, four stars. Had a lot of fun with this one, so I recommend it. Hope you guys enjoyed. This is Comic Uno, and guys, don't forget to follow me on Twitter for Comic Uno and their own situations, and don't forget to like my Facebook page, and I'll see you guys later.